So hello everybody, this is Rutasola from Curva.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can administrate Power BI in bulk. So if you're a Power BI admin, this video is definitely for you. If you are not, stick around because you might be able to tell them that they can do some things that they didn't know. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're not going to use PowerShell. This is something that you can do in the user interfaces very, very quickly. So login in Power BI, the service, powerbi.com, and then if you are an admin, you will be able to go here and admin portal. Then you go to workspaces, and this is when things get interesting. Here you will get a list of all the workspaces that you have. It will show you a hundred items per page. So if you need to manage more than that, you will need to do the things a hundred by a hundred. Okay, so if you need, for example, to give access to a user to a lot of workspaces and you don't see them on the first page you will have to do that on each hundred but other than that it's quite fine because you don't have to go to powershell and do some magic okay so here's the thing you can um see here all the workspaces that you have if you see type of workspace it means that this is the new type of workspace if you see type uh, group and um, I think it's called a personal group or something that means that this is the old workspace and there are some things that are not allowed there okay so you just upgrade your workspace make sure you do that so here you have the possibility for example to uh, filter so you can say I want to filter by is it pity there is not a roll down list you have to actually write workspaces it would have been easier Especially if you don't know, you see, what things are called. Let's do it again, it's workspace. And you don't know from the list, I'm going to show you one example where you don't see all the values available. So this is workspace. So this is the modern workspace, so you will be able to do everything that is allowed for now, obviously. And then here you have status, active, and deleted. There are actually three. Act active, deleted, and you have um, orphan. An orphan means that somebody left the company and they were the admin of that workspace and you want to, you know, give somebody uh, admin rights to that. And then you can do it here, which is super cool. So I don't have any admin, an orphan the workspace. So let's just speak active. So now I have all my new workspaces that are active. Great. So what can you do? Here it is. When, when you click on one, you see that you will be able to see the details for that one. You will be able to see, to edit that. And then just write a description, change the name, whatever you want. And then you will be able to give access. So if I have a new employee and I want to give access to all these, I can just do it here. So I just say, okay, this person needs to have access to this, 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 which makes things easier. Okay. And again, this is no power cell shell. So at the moment, it's just access that you can give to all of them. If you want to change, obviously, uh, details or edit, you can just do it with one. Now, if we go here to state uh, clear, and then let's add a new, I could have edited. Okay, that's fine. So if I write deleted, it will show me the workspaces that I have deleted and check this out. You can restore. I had no idea that you had the possibility to restore. This is super cool. And I don't know if they just save this for all, you know, forever, which that would be insane. But that's really cool. If you have an orphan, this is how you have to write it in case you don't have, you don't know how that looks. So let me show you. I think I have it here, orphan. So if you have an orphan, that means a workspace that does not have an admin because it left the company or changed jobs or whatever, then you just search by orphan. I don't have any, but you can click here and then you can give a, an admin to that workspace, okay? So you don't have any orphan uh, workspaces anymore. So, 
this is quite good. You can obviously export here a list of all the workspaces. We will help you see because here you can only see a hundred at a time. Okay, so this is very, very useful to actually see and then say, okay, who I have to give access to what. Uh, so super, super cool. Uh, thank you for watching. If you didn't know, I hope this is useful. If you are not an admin, go run into your admin and tell them that this is possible. And I will see you again on the next video. If you want me to do a PowerShell video, just let me know on the comment box. I'm not a PowerShell user, but hey, everything is possible, right? <laughs> I'll figure it out. So just comment or like, and then I know that you want me to do a PowerShell video. Okay, stop talking. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.